Hi folks, Creator H here for Technic Tuesday. I uh, just wanted to show you guys my two excavators. Their set numbers are 42006 and obviously they're Technic Lego. Uh, they're in subgroup construction and the year was uh, 2013. They do have 720 pieces. Now, as you can see, I've got my standard one at the back with the gripping claw it came with and then I have my modification one, my mod uh, excavator with actually an excavator bucket. Now, the uh, main build, the Lego version with the gripper claw uh, is a bit of a variant on Lego's uh, long, long time excavator uh, builds. There's, there's many excavators before this one, so I think they decided to go for something different. And it, it actually, the, these sort of excavators are used in uh, demolition, they're used in forestry, uh, waste disposal sites, that sort of thing where that, that claw can be used to pick up uh, large amounts of uh, rubbish, dirt, rubble, that sort of thing. They are tracked, but they do not have any power function additions or modifications on these. Um, they're quite quite standard for Lego's tracked sort of vehicles. Um, they do have functions though where you can actually activate and use your arms. They're, they're driven by three, one, two, three linear actuate, actuators and we've got a, a small gearbox uh, at the bottom. We can move the booms up and down, move the arms in and out, and then activate the buckets or your gripping claws. Um, we've got two, two gearboxes in here with our transmission drive rings in here. So as you can see, to select the various parts of the build. The original set actually comes with these functions and you, you wind it at the back here various items so if we can it takes a bit of time to, to get used to so that it does have quite a good play factor and you can lift various things open and close Lego's doing a lot more of these linear actuator type uh, builds now they are a bit easier to work with than the pneumatics, they're more controlled. Uh, you do have to have various linkages though. So as you can see, you've got a linkage in here and this is actually the pivot point. So when the arm extends in and out, if you can see that, you can see it moving. In there. You see it rotating top of the screen. Moving um, to actually activate our very small linear actuator in the bottom. Now that's that's the stock standard uh, Lego build, uh, but nothing stays stock standard around here. So I went and purchased a, a second one, and here it is. So the body of it exactly the same. I uh, had to modify uh, a bit in here so you can see I've, I've actually moved the ring up uh, so instead of being the, the top stud it's actually on the second one That's so it can get a little bit more articulation. I have modified it it's slightly up the top here for the the boom arm boom arm actuator so it activates in and out. Um, I've had to just extend it by two studs. Uh, I have put power functions on it as well so it's a bit easier to operate and this front section here is all new. I did borrow some ideas from uh, the other Lego excavator, the Volvo, but I still had to modify it to make the actual function work in here. There was not enough room to put the full gear in, so I've, I've just sort of slightly modified it. It does affect it a little bit when it's fully extended under. It, doesn't, it can't actually get the rotation around the the angles. I've used these little um, pins in here. 
universal joints in here. So let's turn her on. As you can hear, you can hear the motors going. We've got an extension. We can move the bucket in and out. As you can see, you've got more control with power functions than you do with the pneumatic stuff. Uh, the pneumatic can be on off or, or very slow reacting. The linear actuators you've got a bit more control but it is slower. You do you do sacrifice for speed for torque, that's for sure. That's various actions. There you have it, that's my modification to uh, 42006. Have you done any, any modifications like this? Um, this set or other Technic Lego sets or, or standard Lego sets? Uh, share them in the comments below. I'd love to see them. Um, we're all about modifications of, of sets here. Uh, Going to be putting out a LLD of this modification and then a video of, of the construction of it. LLD is very good for getting ideas across and creating but the instructions aren't necessarily the best. Uh, just for example, this, this pin here, I was having trouble getting this articulation and the angles right. There's a little bit of extra stress on or, or tension on this point and LLD didn't really want to do that for me. Uh, so I'll do a explanation video of that. If you would like a copy of the LLD, uh, put a comment below uh, with your email and I'll shoot you off an email uh, with those instructions and the parts list as well, the very important parts list. There's not too many parts and I was able to use some of the parts from here but I did have to use some of my stash as well as go on BrickLink to get another large actuator because the main set only comes with one. So thanks for watching and bye for now.